Recently, I took a trip to Australia. This is footage of Australia. Look at these Australian Aborigines in their traditional attire and mode of transportation called a boat, if I am pronouncing that correctly. They are being attacked by a rare acid spitting kangaroo. Better not interfere, prime directive, and all that. Did you know kangaroos can jump up to 25 feet? When I exited my personal airplane, a lovely young lady put a ring of flowers around my neck. They call this a lei, and it's tradition that visitors wear them to identify their status as higher beings. Also, did you know a group of kangaroos is called a mob? My translator then told me that this young nude lady was warning me about koalas, or literally translated drop bears. These are vicious clawed creatures that lounge in trees and wait for the proper moment to attack their victims. Oh well, it seems our aborigine friends were eaten by that kangaroo. When out on safari with my manservant Gunther, I witnessed a dead kangaroo apparently mauled by a drop bear for its supple prized acid gland. Later that night, I tasted said acid gland as part of a holy ritual in a teepee surrounded by aborigines. Fact, kangaroos can reach a speed of 25 miles per hour. That's fast in American numbers. I was fearless at the prospect of dying to a drop bear as my faithful manservant Gunther was by my side, along with his Walther PPK and his the smallest kangaroo is the musky rat kangaroo at 9 inches, 1 pound, 1 ounce. In all seriousness, the drop bear myth is hysterical and I do love the Columbus Zoo. It's filled with secrets.